Hello and welcome to another edition of Teacher Talk Second Grade and today I've got another video on the Dogman Mashup Contest. Previously I did make a short, very brief video about this contest and just kind of explain that it's in there and how to get to the contest on Scholastic. Today though, I'm going to slow down. I printed off some of this information here and even printed off some of the details about this contest. That way I can kind of walk you through them because some of the language here, it's pretty detailed, some pretty big words here. And this way, it'll make it a little bit more kid-friendly for you. And you can talk about some of the details about how to enter this contest. So stay tuned. Hey, if you like this video and you like these Dogman videos or the Scholastic videos, show me a thumbs up so I, need to make, I know to make more of these videos. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe. I've got lots of Dogman, lots of uh, the genius himself, Dave Pilkey videos. So hit that subscribe for me. So let me tell you how this whole thing started. So again, I teach second grade and I received this to hand out to my students from Scholastic. By the way, if you don't buy books for, through Scholastic, you should talk to your teacher about it because uh, they have really awesome books at a really great prices. So here are the, the pamphlet here. And then if I go right here, this is the Dogman Mashup Contest. And I'm not gonna read that whole thing to you, but I'll zoom in and if you need to press pause and maybe have mom, dad help you read it, or maybe you're a very strong reader can read it yourself. And in my last video, I explained that all you need to do is go to Scholastic, right here, scholastic.com backslash club contests. When my students tried to do this, actually in my classroom, I had them do it, they got a little bit confused by it and they, were, they uh, struggled a little bit. And that's the reason I'm making this video right here. So if you're a parent in my classroom, hopefully this will give you a little bit more details. If you're one of the students, maybe this will help you to get to where you need to go to. So anyway, we're gonna walk through some of these details. So that is the actual pamphlet. This is the form that I actually printed once I went onto that Scholastic website, uh, the club contests. And I printed this guy off right here and we'll read through some of the highlights. And then we'll also read through some of the details about the contest right here. So, enter the Dogman mashup contest. Dogman is half dog, half man. What animal and person would you combine to create a superhero? Draw a picture and write a description of your mashup character. I was discussing this in class with some of my students, and boy, did we have a great time. So thank you, Scholastic. Thank you, Dave Pilkey, putting this together. We had a blast and, and really got creative with our imaginations, and some of the kids in my class were really coming up with some funny stuff, and they were telling me details about how they're half man and half, actually, uh, I think the most popular one was half teacher half giraffe and the giraffe would walk around and have this teacher head that could kind of just move around the classroom and give help wherever it was needed and help out with creative words and stuff. I, it was just a really, really cool thing. And I saw some kids that sometimes are a little bit more quiet in my classroom really come to life as they were having fun with this. So uh, the prizes, it sounds like there's some pretty cool prizes. A grand prize uh, will receive the original work of our work of art by Dogman creator Dave Pilkey, or Dave Pilkey the genius as I call him, plus a Dave Pilkey library for the classroom. Boy, is that ever cool. Um, I think in my classroom I probably have 80% of Dave's books and I have every one of the popular series, uh, that Dog Breath, and boy, he has so many awesome books out there. Really, really great author who does a fantastic job of connecting with those students who are sometimes reluctant readers, especially. So then there's going to be some runner-ups, and those runner-ups will win the Dave Pilkey prize pack. So we're not quite sure what's in that, but I'm sure it's something awesome. And here's a big note now. Entries must be received by October 26, 2018. So currently making this video, we're in the middle of September 2018. And so September, October, so we've got about four, five, six weeks. So six weeks total from today um, to get it in there. So make sure if you're watching this video, double check that date. Make sure it hasn't passed that date yet. It tells you where to send it to. And it tells you what the entries must include. Entries must include the student's name, age, and grade, teacher name, school name, address, and phone number. Now that's not all the details, so don't stop the video yet. But that's some of the more important and major ones. And then it does give you some more details down in here. So if you need to press pause and have a mom, dad, teacher, helper, somebody kind of read some of those stuff to you, you might want to go ahead and do that. And that is going to go for these details here as well. So I'm going to scan through this page. And if you need to press pause and have an adult read this with you, it might not be a bad idea. If you're going to spend the time to do this contest, 
and uh, really do a nice job at it, you probably want to read these details or have someone read it too and make sure that you do it correctly. Don't, don't waste your time on this um, and, and do it on the wrong size paper or something silly like that. So let's check it out. No purchase necessary. That's kind of cool. So you don't necessarily have to go on and buy books from Scholastic to enter this. You can just go on there with no purchase. It tells you how to enter it. So the students must create an original two-part superhero. In keeping the idea of dog man, but an original combination or mashup of characters. Students must draw a picture of their mashup character and write a description of the character with details like the name, special powers, likes, dislikes, etc. So the students may use pen, pencil, marker, crayon, pastels, or paint to create the pictures. Entry must be no larger than 11 inches by 14 inches so students take note of that so 11 by 14 um, some of the construction paper that I have is larger than that so that would not be a good fit the students in my classroom I was telling them that if they just got some copy paper and put some lines on there to write on and then drew the picture underneath it or maybe above it that that would be a good size so that would be my suggestion out there um, but if you did want to go a little bit larger than uh, regular copy paper you can and uh, 11 by 14 would be a little bit larger but just make sure that you have an adult or somebody help you who really knows measurement so that you're not putting something that's too large. Don't want to do that. Sounds like you might get disqualified. And every entry must include this contact information on the entry. Student's name, age, grade level. We kind of went over this already, so I'll go quickly over this stuff here. And then it tells you down here. I'm not going to read this to you, but you know, here's how you need to address this so that it gets to the right place. So in New York, and it tells you this again, October 28th. Um, or is that 6, I'm sorry, October 26th, uh, 2018. So, and no other means of entry will be accepted. So you do have to mail it out there. And then again, there's some more details talking about the winners and how they'll be selected and about the contest is open to students in the U.S. Grades one through five. So if you're a sixth grader, sorry, one through five. And again, a little bit more about the prizes. A little bit more about the... Um, well, just a few more details about it. And then let's turn on to our back page as well. And I'm not gonna read all of this guy here, but again, I think it's important if you're gonna enter one of these contests, have a parent, have an adult kind of walk through this with you. Make sure you know some of those details. As a student, I would say the main details, if you want me to go over them real quickly again, would just be, first of all, double check that date. October 26, 2018, make sure that hasn't passed. And you know, if it has passed and you just wanted to do this as a creative project, I think that would be awesome, right? You know, I mean, the, the prizes are fantastic, but really the whole goal is, hey, make something cool, make a cool picture of it, get creative with your mind, see what you can put together here. So very cool stuff, there's the prizes, there's where to send it to, of course, that one is important as well. And um, the entries must include this information here, I'll kind of pause it on there. So, all right, guys. Hey, I hope you have a lot of fun with this. Please do me a favor. If you like these kind of videos on Scholastic, on Dogman, about the different contests within Scholastic and some of those details, give me a thumbs up. It lets me know that you like these videos and that I should continue to make videos like this. Also, if you hit subscribe, I've got about three or four different videos on Scholastic now, and I've got something in the ballpark of about 15 to maybe as much as 20 videos on Dogman. Each one of the books, the book sets, um, the latest Dogmat that just came out, which was Dogman, Lord of the Fleas, which if I go over here to my Scholastic book order, I see it right there. And uh, again, um, the other kind of videos that I have on my uh, on, on this channel include things like Who Would Win?, and I really try to highlight the ones that I know are big hits. I've been teaching second grade now for about eight years. So I know which series are really big hits in the classroom and maybe which ones the kids shy away from a little bit more. And I'm pointing out some of the different books right now that I've highlighted in other videos because I know these are huge, huge hits in my classroom. So you might want to take a look at these guys. Boy, Fly Guy. Uh, that's an awesome one if you're a first grade reader. So anyway, friends, I hope you subscribe to the channel. And by the way, if you want to put suggestions of videos that you'd like me to put on here, whether it's a book series or some other ideas, I'm definitely open to that as well. Okay, friends, that's going to do it for now. We will catch you next time.